talk about Arduino today. What is Arduino? In technical terms, an Arduino is a single board microcontroller. But in much simpler explanation, Arduino is a credit card size circuit board with input and output pins that can hook up various other electronic components using wires, resistors, LED diodes, motors, fans, buttons, speakers, sensors, and more. In short, it is basically a Lego land for adults. So the question is, what can you do with Arduino? All kinds of stuff. Just expand your imagination because with Arduino, the sky is the limit. Once you understand how all the basic component works, all that's left is to creatively put them together in interesting ways. We are inviting you to join us here at Arduino Week Philippines on March 21 to 26 via Facebook Live. For more details, follow our Facebook page Arduino Week Philippines 2022 or email us at arduinoday at appcademia.online. Hoping to see you there. Bye! Hey folks, let's talk about Arduino today. What is Arduino? In technical terms, an Arduino is a single board microcontroller. But in much simpler explanation, Arduino is a credit card size circuit board with input and output pins that can hook up various other electronic components using wires, resistors, LED diodes, motors, fans, buttons, speakers, sensors, and more. In short, it is basically a Lego land for adults. So the question is, what can you do with Arduino? All kinds of stuff. Just expand your imagination because with Arduino, the sky is the limit. Once you understand how all the basic component works, all that's left is to creatively put them together in interesting ways. We are inviting you to join us here at Arduino Week Philippines on March 21 to 26 via Facebook Live. For more details, follow our Facebook page Arduino Week Philippines 2022 or email us at arduinoday at appcademia.online. Hoping to see you there. Bye! Hey folks, let's talk.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the first day of Arduino Week Philippines 2022. I am Ira Gaza, your host for tonight. Before we officially start the program, we would like to inform everyone that you must attend at least one webinar every day from March 21 to 26 to receive the certificate of Arduino Week 2022. But you may also get a certificate per webinar through appcademia.online. For attendance, a code will be flushed on the screen during lecture, so make sure to remember it. It will also serve as your raffle entry. Only people who answer the evaluation form from day one to day six will receive the official certificate from Arduino and a chance to win an Arduino kit. So stay tuned, listen well, and enjoy. I hope everyone is ready as we start the first webinar. For our first speaker, he studied robotics engineering in De La Salle University. He is currently the technology officer at Living Robotics Romania, the general manager at Shell Companies in the Philippines, and the president of Kaizen Robotics Company. Let us all welcome our very first speaker for the Arduino Week Philippines 2022, Mr. Sherwin Yap. Hey. Thank you for the introduction, Ira. Uh, thank you and good evening to everyone. Please let me know if you can see my screen. Ira? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Hi, good evening, everyone. A few months ago, on the rare occasion that I would go to the mall, uh, I picked up a book entitled Ikigai. So Ikigai is apparently a Japanese term for a reason for living or a reason for being. Pumunta kasi yung uh, parang writer nitong book na to to the, to the city where you, sa Japan na uh, yung pinakamatatanda, uh, pinakamahaba yung buhay ng mga tao. And then, 
they uh, they ask people what the reason or their what their secret was ang sinabi nila is that uh it's finding your ikigai which is the, uh, which is their secret and it's the secret for a long and happy life so while this talk is uh for Arduino week and then it would showcase mostly um innovations uh using Arduino wherein you know Arduino is my favorite um mechatronics na na, na, na microcomputer and uh I while while maraming ganun na ipapakita today uh I'd like to get a bit philosophical and share with you how through the power of fun I was able to find my Ikigai, it's an elusive state wherein, you know, what what uh, nakikita mo sa chart dito, what you love to do, and what you are good at, and what you can get paid for, at saka, what the world needs. nag na sila, um, they neatly tied together and giving you your Ikigai. So, let me uh, move on to my next slide. So, if you ask me who I was early uh, during the pandemic, early part of pandemic, and I would tell you that You know, I'm a an executive for a multinational oil and gas company. It's doing pretty well. Uh, I I've been a general manager. I've handled leadership roles in that company. Um, but you know, um, as I keep doing uh what I do, I I, I reflected on uh, parang you know, self reflect, self reflection ako, and then I realized that. Uh, ano ba yung gusto kong gawin talaga? What do I love to do? So I I check myself. And then naisip ko what I really love to do, especially kunare during my breaks, I don't like like other people they go travel abroad, travel the ba and all yung ganyan, mahilig lang. What I end up doing during my free time is really try to make something, create create things. I like doing Uh, cool things. I find the mga gumagawa ng gadget or something new uh, to be very exciting. I'm sure a lot of people uh, are like that. Ano? When I was younger, uh, actually, pag may laruan akong binibigay sa akin, I, I open, uh, sinisira ko kagad after a day and then para lang makunin ko yung mga dynamo, yung mga uh, motors and then ilalay, ikakabit ko sa ibang uh, toy ko. So that's that's the kind of person I am and I'm sure maraming ganyan dito sa Uh, so na, na audience natin ano? so um coupled that with the programming na tinuro sa akin when I was also around nine or ten years old na ano ako eh na na hilig talaga ako sa robotics that is why sa college I took up uh, robotics engineering okay so that's what I like to do eh. makita niyo dito yung sa left side na picture is me making a 360 degree camera na yung miikot sa it, it looks really cool pag ano Para kang nasa matrix na movie pag uh, pagsuot-suot mo yan especially while you're driving you know pero syempre it's sobrang DIY ito na yung counterweight ko if you will see on the lower left it's my heavy sandal na nilagay ko diyan so <laughs> and i also like also like uh, um, mga sci-fi movies Uh, like X Men, Devil. Favorite ko is actually Real Steel. Nako unstable yung connect. How about now? Still good. Oh na. Naglalag pa ba? Wait, thank you. Take lang mga magubura naman. Okay, so uh, nasa na ba ako? I, I like I like um these kinds of movies, sci-fi, Pacific Rim. So during the pandemic, since I had so much time in my hands, I ko, why don't I try to develop? Uh, because I I wasn't good at creating stuff. Eh. Pa, pa, kasi pa, pa, minsan, minsan lang ako gumawa. So what I did was uh, I wanted to train myself to learn to do things. And and while learning, I wanted to be fun. So kailangan mag enjoy ako bawat uh, bawat bawat stuff na inaaral ko. So that's exactly what I did, you know. Um I started with uh just gawa lang nitong parang traffic light na LED light. So as you can, uh, as you know naman in programming, the first 
thing that you the first program or project that you do is alam siguro ng lahat it's hello world ba diba? so this is the equivalent of hello world itong LED blinking lights natin so uh, that's what I did uh, and then ang saya eh. I, I, I enjoyed being able to create create uh, something so I kept on doing it every single day kasi dami na nating oras sa, sa bahay wala nang hindi na kailangan mag go through traffic etc etc so um so you so i ended up making this so this one is the pringle bots so it, this is made out of mga garbage materials yung mga waste na pringles cans saka yung mga soda water ko so tuwang-tuwa na ako dito pinapasayaw ko sila remember i didn't stop there so the pringle bots uh tuloy-tuloy lang every single day and then eventually i learned how to 3d print and then also uso noon yung tiktok eh so sabi ko hindi mo ako marunong sumayaw bakit ako gagawa ng account so, so nanonood lang ako sabi ko gusto ko mag-participate so i created tiktok bot so ito yung si tiktok bot na lumabas na rin siya sa i think gma uh one of the shows ng gmail i'll just show you tiktok bot <laughs> Hindi rin ako marunong mag-meaning. Ito, marunong yung robot. <laughs> so, um, I went on to uh, keep doing stuff. So, as I told you earlier, I wanted... Yung, yung goal ko is just to recreate yung mga favorite na mga... Uh, uh, sci-fi movies ko. Ito naman is uh, mini version ng um, mini version na uh, Pacific Rim. Um, alam niyo siguro what Pacific Rim is. So there's this pilot that when when the pilot moves, um, the robot follows it. So this is Pacific Rim robot. As a kid, I always dreamt of being able to make one or at least experience man lang yun. So this one, uh, since tayo tayo lang naman dito, no, uh, and everyone's supposed to be uh, either a newbie or very interested in electronics and uh, and, and robotics. Um, ito very simple lang. I I have two uh, Android phones sa kamay ko, and Android phone Android phones as you know would have uh yung mga accelerometers nila. Uh, yung gyroscope dun sa sa phone, di ba? Embedded. So, hiniram ko lang yung isa pang uh, Android phone. So, dalawa na yung Android phone ko. And then, nire-read lang yung Android phone ko yung um, uh, yung readings nun. And then, binabato niya dito sa microcomputer na nag-control sa robot. So, that's the secret behind it. And then, in, in, pag dahan-dahan ninyo yan, one, one at a time, you'd really be able to get it easily. This one naman is, uh, I call this the shadow bot or uh, this is based out of yung movie na um, uh, Real Steel. So this is actually one of my favorites. So this one is 3D printed robot hands uh, and the motors are pretty strong and uh yeah, medyo marami na naming servo motors to. What this does is yung you uh, I made this robot uh, purely dito sa uh using my 3D printers and on all my uh, tools dito sa office. And then also yung if you will notice yung kamay ko uh doesn't have any gloves so it's using uh there's a camera pointing at my hands and then parang using artificial intelligence it parang 
sort of gets what my hands are doing and then i program it to 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 transfer that instruction to the ano uh, to the robot hands use uh, via internet so medyo may delays ng konti mainly because hindi siya hardwired and <laughs> Uh, hindi naman ganun ka-expensive yung mga ginagamit natin na semi, um, semiconductors dito. Alright. Not only did I do all mga robotics, mechatronics, I also dwelled on uh, biorobotics. So ito, I, I saw I saw some some people, that, uh, including yung kay Elon Musk, na they're saying that they can help people move eh, uh, using yung sa brains nila. So this one is actually... Signals coming from your brains. Uh, kaya nako-control yung tao. So I call this the human puppet experiment. Let me just show you what it does. Hi, my dad. Hi. So this is the human puppet experiment. <laughs> it hurts! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Does it hurt? So as you can see, yung lady, beautiful lady assistant ko, when she moves her hand, sinusunod yung kamay ko. Naka-blindfold ako, so I, there's no way of me knowing kung ginagawa nga niya, hindi. But, you know, yung, yung kamay ko is being uh, controlled by those electrodes na nagagalaw. And there are a lot of points sa kamay that you can install these electrodes. Uh, and then you'd be able to, you know, really control people. Maraming natutuwang mga misis dito at mga girlfriends na sabi nila baka pwedeng, yun, maganda to, makakokontrol na natin yung mister natin, baka maghugas ng pinggan or maybe maglaba. <laughs> so, yeah, but while doing that, hindi parating perfect, no? every uh, we, we do a lot of trial and error. Alam naman siguro na no, most of the people on this uh, seminar, yung trial and errors when it comes to creating uh, something. Ito is one of the fails natin. So, we're trying out itong human puppet. So, nasobrahan yung current. So, medyo masakit siya. But it's not it's not fatal naman. Uh, fortunately, uh, okay pa rin naman kami. <laughs> so, I ventured into a lot of other things dahil nga na, natutuwa ako. Pangaka-addict eh, keep creating stuff. So, went on to create ano naman, something like this. It's a moving, hovering thing. Pwede to pang commercial siguro, the VIX. If you can see yung VIX, focus your eyes on the VIX. I want it to move. Diba? Of course, walang ano to. There's nothing... Um, parang not, no programming needed to is basically just magnets we're playing with but it looks really cool hmm. let me move on to the next and ano pa pala isang example I'm showing a lot of videos today because you know mahaba-haba naman yung oras doon natin so I hope you guys enjoy yung mga... I want this to spark kasi ano, parang um, for you guys to start creating something uh, and then you know, spark your imagination as well on what you can do. My talk is all about making... Uh, how to get you to make something. Ito pa. Um, I wrote a new code to change my desk light using my Actually, hand. change Close. lights. Open... If you want to change color, just turn your hand around. Color is Close. If you want to switch it off, open. Para kang may superpowers, di ba? So if you can, you can change the color by just turning your hand and then pag nag, ano ka, make a fist ka, or off yung lights. So uh, it's something really cool with electronics. This one, I used, um, I think I used, I used um, Arduino and Raspberry Pi and also my PC here because um, this sensor that I have here is the is called the Leap Motion sensor. It it reads it reads your hand movements. 
And eventually, uh, I went on to mind make controlled. the Professor oh, X mind. mind controlled thing. So, if you see here, I have an EEG sa head ko naka attached. It's actually made in Cavite lang. Okay, focus on um, it. But, parang, eh, parang expert then, process is going on. So, using your mind, focus. you can actually focus on being able to close the hand. So, this is very useful for other, um, for technology, uh, technologies for the yung mga handicapped. You know? I think you've seen this in other um, uh, other laboratories na sini, uh, pinapasikat uh, in, in the Western countries and even Japan siguro. But for this to be made at home, it's, it's something na revolutionary. <laughs> so it's, not, it's not so hard. Actually, mas mahirap yung pag-concentrate. And then also, uh, Professor X, hey, Professor X uh, mind-controlled wheelchair. wheelchair to. Sa loob lang ako ng kwarto dahil naka-quarantine so I can only make it spin. So yeah, the mind control siya. And then you can concentrate to make it stop. Yeah. Well, so I've been so I keep doing uh, uh, uh new projects and every project hindi pare-pareho. Uh, paiba-iba siya parati and I make sure that I learn something new. Uh, but when I want to learn something, it has to be fun. Hindi pwedeng pumasok yung, uh, I mean, babasahin ko lang and, and, and do it. Pero walang, walang application, di ba? Walang fun na application. So, uh, that's how I learn. And I think that's how people should learn eh. Because that's the normal uh, way of learning. So not Natural natin yun. Anyway, I... I, I like this uh, quote from Maya Angelou. She's a poet. It says, you can only become truly accomplished at something that you love. So pursue the things you love doing and then do, so, do them so well that people can't take their eyes off of you. So because of the passion that I put into what I do, kita niya naman how, how happy I am doing these things, uh, people started recognizing uh, what I'm doing and then started asking me for uh, interviews so I'm not sure if you've already seen me siguro sa some sa, sa TV uh, like yung sa dapat alam mo it's almost a 5 minute minute feature on prime time uh dun sa news ano uh, about mga stuff na that we've been doing and not only local mga publications meron din tayong mga international publications like yung upper right is global ip trust um, sharing some of my views on how I was able to build a, a robotics company. Um, ano pa ba? Even sa ano, mga amigo na to dia sa Visayas, uh, nagbinisaya og interview, one of my hardest interviews katong uh, sa GMA Regional TV because nag I had to speak in Visaya eh. Kaya kung pasosyal, uh, so nagbisaya ako sa ila hadig to. Uh, if you're Visaya here, uh, hello sa mga I, I was actually born in um, Davao City, but my parents uh, all are hail from Cebu. So, and then, but I, I uh, after elementary, I went to study here sa, sa Manila. Na. So, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao ang, ako, ang, ang aking uh, background. Ano ba ba? Um, yeah, even... <laughs> na feature din tayo sa one of mga kalokohans na ginagawa natin like the uh, fish um anti awkward fish that's what I call it see one of my dreams is to uh, to be interviewed by Kabayan Noli de Castro pero hindi ako na interview parang inano lang niya uh, nag nag anchor lang siya for this one and uh, like si Drew Arellano featured some of my work sa show niya I think it's aha um yeah so para ang dami nating uh, features so na realize ko it's because people are really interested in in robotics and technology diba and, and cool new things and especially if it's gawa ng pinoy it's it's not not it's not para hindi siya norm and then i i wanted to share as well na i was honored to be one of the keynote speakers for the International Conference on Education. Biro mo yun. Uh, me, starting out as a person who just likes to do these things, 
uh, I was asked to speak to uh, a lot of educational, uh, parang professionals in the education field, mainly because of my views on how robotics, coding, and technology should be taught sa, sa school. And fortunately, marami namang naniniwala. Uh, one more thing, um, not only uh, not only did I have um, yung mga features na yun and interviews, I also uh, met a lot of people like this set of people uh, that wanted to get to know me. I was interviewed in the, the PyCast um, because uh, they wanted to learn a couple of my um, parang mga algorithms ko sa So, so the stuff that I'm doing. So I, I shared with them what what uh, what those are, and from all these, so so from the from uh from all the projects that I was doing, people started approaching me, asking me for help, whether it be yung con- for consult or for uh, robotics design or for uh, coding, which is my my uh, one of my strong suit. Uh, and then electronics and mga ganyan. So I decided to, uh, I had to build a, a company. So this portion is on what you can get paid for and what you're doing. So uh, I, I built a company named Kaizen Robotics. Kaizen kasi it's a Japanese term that I really love. Uh, Kaizen means continuous improvement. I want to remind myself, kaya ko nilagay yan, Kaizen Robotics. I want to remind myself na There's always a better way of doing things. Uh, continuous improvement kasi ito uh, ang ibig sabihin niya. So I should not rest. No, I should always um, find ways to improve on things or whatever. So it's it's something that I like and then it's something na kung nagre-relax, relax na ako to remind me na, oh, there, there, may, there could be something better to do. Yan. So, um, uh, ayun. Ang tagline namin dito is create what you can imagine. As you can see, sobra yung imagination ko and we were able to create that. No? So, um, uh, me together with a couple of uh, other experts in this field uh, who I met uh, mostly online. Uh, some of them are PhD. Some of them are uh, newbies but are into mechanical, for example, or electronics. Na hindi, hindi complete package. So, I grouped them all together to be able to create Uh, okay, thing. So, um, group namin is around uh, the Robotics Lab Philippines. These are the more active people that are really doing stuff. So, if you wanna learn, no, it, it, uh, learn more or maybe participate, be volunteers in doing something um, productive, something new. Uh, I urge you to join us in Robotics Lab Philippines. It's a, it's also an FB group. So, just type Robotics Lab Philippines. Uh, it has around. Uh, anyway, Robotics Philippines as well if you want to join that. And then you can follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Favorite ko mag-upload ng mga TikToks because that's how you get people interested in uh, science and technology or STEM. All right. 25 minutes. All right. So uh, let me just share with you some highlights ever since uh, in terms of the business and, and ever since we started this and what, what you were able to help. Uh, what we were able to do already. So the upper left, uh, we we're lucky enough to because of all the deals that we've been doing, we apparent we, we supplied the highest number of authentic authentic uh, Arduino Uno in the country. We cannot match with the yung mga, yung mga uh, how do you say uh, either counterfeit or yung mga alternatives ng Arduino Uno. But that's my company uh, supplied the highest number of authentic Arduino Unos and also. Uh, since I like Raspberry Pis as well, so we supply the highest number of Raspberry Pi boards uh, in the country as well. In just a short span of time and in, in, in kakabuhay lang ng company. You know? So we're very happy with that. We also forge a partnership with the prominent school. You know? And um, we, we work out how to teach uh, parang how to teach uh, coding and robotics. And later, I probably will be able to show you some samples of Uh, what the kids have done after um, going through our uh, coding and robotics classes. And we were also awarded the robotics laboratory or showroom. Unfortunately, we can't really utilize it yet uh, so much because uh, of the pandemic. Diba? So 
hopefully in the next few months uh, we'll start na with our ano yung mga museum type namin so people can really experience it not only sa online nila nakikita and video so they can actually uh, play with the robots and play with the uh, gadgets that we create uh, hindi lang for, from Kaisa and also from the Robotics Lab Philippines and Robotics Philippines people hmm. on the, in the uh, so so while we while we are heavily focused on education sector we're helping people because I think that's very important no and by the way background ng family ko is we're also in um uh educational supplies but it's the traditional one like paper uh ball pen yung mga ganyan so i'm very happy to be able to jump to the next level na high tech na yung uh educational supplies natin ngayon and the lower portion are some of the industry things that we're doing so we create stuff for the entertainment industry uh, inter- uh, this is the 360 degree camera robot wherein you know uh, the future is virtual reality so mar- malaki ang future ng virtual reality but to be able to create contents for virtual reality you need the 360 degree camera pero di mo kayang gawin yung 360 degree, cam- degree camera kung may hawak ang may hawak noon ay ang tao dahil pag lumingon kang ganyan magugulat ka yung camera man yung makikita mo sa VR headset mo so that's why you need um these types of robots to help you do it and what we're working on now and fairly tapos na rin naman uh, is that these robots will just follow a host for example si Kuya Kim um uh, maglalakad pinapakita niya sa iyo yung zoo so ma- parang nandoon ka talaga so that's something that uh, to look forward to and then and this is done locally Um, we also do international research and development projects, mostly on the development part. Um, like, for example, Living Robotics is in Romania. Uh, they tap into Kaizen Robotics to help them. Uh, help, uh, uh, basically, itong tao na to, for example, na sa picture art is a, used to have uh, had a stroke and he's recovering. Pero when you recover, mag-PT ka niya ng uh, physical therapy for a while. And it takes 10 years, atay, around 10 years, before you can actually move your hands. You can move all other parts of your body. Pero yung, yung fingers mo are very difficult to control. So what we can do is, um, you know, we, we create some, some gadgets for them and then connect them either uh, through yung mind control or yung other um, sensors that we can, we can use, depending on, ano kasi yan eh, depending on the patient. Uh, we're helping them do that and a lot, of, a lot of other stuff like in constructions we um i can't well, some of them are under ano kasi um ano ba ito? secret daw so i can't i can't really share much no? so but uh those things are uh we have a lot of those and then also favorite part ko ito medyo masaya kasi uh, on the lower right are the on the hospitality industry project so um we were tapped to create a you know, to recreate yung red light green light ng uh, ano yun uh, red light green light na game ng uh, squid game <laughs> squid game uh yung squid game so what this does itong itong picture na to kita niya naman yung doll diba so if the doll the doll's eyes are moving and also the head na nagmo-move pag tapos kakanta siya pag tumigil siya magkanta titingnan kanya and then the guns will point at you if you move um if you move babarilin ka ng nerf gun it's a pretty cool gun na ito it's a toy gun pero medyo ano siya ratatat ganda siya gatling actually have sample here nila ito yan oh pretty cool <laughs> pinintaran lang na item dahil mukhang toy siya dati So, a point siya. Um, and then, uh, babarin yung tao. Meron ding flip side na kung hindi naman gumalaw, ah, sorry, kailangan galaw ka ng galaw. Pag hindi ka gumalaw, babarin ka. So, <laughs> yun. Uh, imaginative yung mga tao sa sa company na to. Eh. And also, we were tapped to fix yung uh, old room nila. And then, Uh, Asgard room parang sa, si Thor yan eh where Thor is there's a Thor hammer na pag uh, pag pinalo mo sa sahig or kanino man 
yung buong room mag thunder, lightning, etc. etc. So those are really fun things to do and then uh, I hope I hope we get more projects na mga ganito ka saya because you know I'd even do them for free sa totoo lang kung 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 uh, kung masaya talaga something to learn. So those are the things that you that because of uh, things that I love to do and now I'm good at it, I can get paid for for doing the things that I, I love to do. Now, moving on to what the world needs. So, I reflected again and did a little research and what does the world need? Ano ba yung pinaka top industries of the future? So, I'm listing down eight of the top industries in the future. So, the first three are actually Artificial intelligence, robotics, and internet of things. So I'm sure na rinig nyo na yon lahat. And, and it, it feels like it's too futuristic for you guys. But maybe not. Eh, no? So what I can do rather than explain each one, I maybe, I'll, I'll just ask Kuya Kim and Patricia to explain to you. Lang, ha? This is a parang feature sa, ano, sa, sa G, GTV. Medyo tayo. awkward silang Wait, dalawa dito. Ano, ano latest, Mare? Ano, ano daw? Ay! Ito. Siya daw? Ah, talaga! Siya talaga? Siya, teka. Sino daw? Ang tagal ng acting natin. Eto na nga. Uy. Pero hindi yung bansag sa mahilig sa chika, ha? Kung isang high-tech, kung hindi isang high-tech na may erdoma. Alam mo, Patricia, artificial intelligence ito na mala Jarvis the Iron Man. At may mga kamarkada pa siyang daddy bot at plantito bot. Ang powers nila inalam ni Athena Imperial. Uy, Mare, ito ang latest. Ang tsikadora ng bayan na si Marites. Aba, hindi lang chismis ang inaatupag. Nauutusan na rin daw? Ate Marites. Ano po you, sir? Pakibuksan ng ilaw. Okay po, good evening. Meet Ate Marites, ang AI Voice Activated Assistant. Ang may gawa niyan, ang innovator na si Sherwin Yap. Mahilig kasi ako manood ng Iron Man. And sa Iron Man, meron siyang assistant na computer. It's Jarvis. So, naisip ko, bakit hindi gumawa ng sarili ko? Ate Marites. Ano po yung sir? Gawing red ang lamesa. Okay, sige po. Alexa, turn desk light to red. Okay. It uses artificial intelligence para maintindihan yung sinasabi ko through the Internet of Things na control niya yung iba-ibang bagay basta nakakonect sa internet. Si Ati Marites, may tuturing raw na Pinoy version ng mga voice assistants tulad ni Alexa at Google Home. Minsan nga, mayor doma siya. Pwede siyang mag-utos ng ibang voice assistant like Alexa. Si Sherwin, bata pa lang, nakahiligan na ang robotics. Nine years old ako, in-enroll din ako ng mom ko sa programming or coding na summer class. Kaya sobrang natuwa ako doon. Para ka na nakikipag-usap sa computer. Ang pagiging tech ni Sherwin, mas nag-spark daw ngayong pandemia. Kaya umabot na sa higit isang daang innovations ang kanyang nagagawa. Bukod kay Ati Marites, isa pa sa kanyang innovation si DaddyBot. <laughs> Bawal ang sweet dito. Lalagyan mo ng DaddyBot camera. Para pag nakita nung camera na may lumalapit dun sa anak mo at mag-a-alert siya, sasabihin niya sa'yo na bawal lang sweet dito, bawal lang lovey-dovey. So pag lumapit ako sa kanya, mabad tayo. Bawal lang sweet dito. Pero di lang pambakod sa manliligaw ito, pwede rin magamit to remind guests na mag-physical distancing. Virus ready na rin ang kanyang inventions dahil nandyan na ang face mask police. Nagbibigay ito ng warning sa mga tao ma-detect na walang suot na face mask. At kung plantito by heart, merong maaasahan na plantito bot. Patok ito sa mga nakakalimutan magdilig ang kanilang plant babies. Kusa nitong hahanapin at didiligan ang mga halaman mo. Lahat ng ito, likha gamit ang AI o Artificial Intelligence at IoT o Internet of Things. Ito yung mga bagay na kayang kumunekta sa internet. All innovations are just combinations lang ng mga iba't ibang technology. And I just have to find a way to put them all together. So yun, nag enjoy talaga ako doing that. Mission daw ni Sherwin na palaganapin ang science and technology sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga robot. 
Tuloy lang din siya sa pag-innovate dahil marami pa siyang projects at idea na nais gawin. I make sure na may natutunan akong bagong style, bagong technologies. On top of self-fulfillment, I also learn a lot of uh, new things na later on magagamit ko sa paiba-ibang projects na meron. Ang mga Pinoy innovations gaya ni na Ate Marites at kanyang barkada, patunay ng level up na galing ng mga Pinoy sa teknolohiya. Ako si Athena Imperial at yan ang kwentong dapat alam mo. Salamat at... Sino <laughs> So, a lot of um, parang is uh, that you can do and then you and maybe in school if maturuan natin ng, ng tama. If not, if you're if you're really interested naman you can you will learn you know? so here is a more practical or may, medyo useful na use ng ay, useful na gamit for for the artificial intelligence so this is something that will detect a knife or maybe a gun later on This is our personal protection robot. So, babarilin ka pag may hawak ang kuchilya. Bawal po ang cellphone dito. Niloloko mo ba? Ay! Ay! Aw! Ibaba mo yung kuchilyo. Aray! Okay. Sorry. Na! Hold up! Ibaba mo yung kuchilyo. Ibaba mo yung kuchilyo. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let me move on to the next slide. Ano ba next? So, um, ito pa yung eight other industries uh, of the future. Um, yung faster e-commerce. Kasi right now, pag nag-order ka, takes you, what, two, three days? Ang pinakamabilis. And then, after yung iba nga, a week or two. So, maybe if you do faster e-commerce, maybe within 30 minutes, baka pwede ma-deliver na. So, that I think is Amazon's uh, parang ultimate goal nila. In 30 minutes, ma ma Ma-replicate nila yung feeling na when you go to an actual shopping mall and you buy your favorite shoes, for example, masusuot mo na kaagad. So that's something uh, to look forward to. And then big data and data analytics is already big. <laughs> so um, there are a lot of businesses na na outsourced dito sa Philippines that we can, we, can, we can do in terms of big data. So And then also biohacking is like yung uh, finding ways for by or humans to be better. <clears throat> and then cybersecurity, uh, this is going to be a very, very big business. Uh, as you can see, dami ng mga hacking uh, and then almost everybody is going sa e-commerce, especially with the pandemic. So cybersecurity would be very, very uh, uh, a lucrative business. And then also renewable and alternative energy. So right now, actually we're around 70 to 80% na fossil fuel base yung ano natin yung yung uh, mga energy sources natin and then around 30 to 20 lang yung ano alternative energy which are from solar or geothermal or other means ano or wind wind power for example but in i think in 24 2050 uh that's the prediction that in 2050 magbabaliktad yan instead of instead of uh 30 to 20 percent na uh, alternative and renewable energy, it's now going to be around 70 to 80 percent na renewable and alternative energy. So, those people that are already in this business or really parang mas unang naka invest dito, um, they will uh, <laughs> they will be lucky. <laughs> So uh, one thing that I am uh, focusing on yung uh, what the world needs and sa Philippines kasi this is what we need. Eh. Uh, people are now or people like uh, Dyson, the company ni Dyson are now looking for engineers or looking for uh, tech people that can that can support yung mga innovations na gusto nila. So Dyson is the most innovative company in the Philippines uh, in the world 
And then they're looking at Philippines. They put up sila dito sa Muntinlupa ng hub to start creating stuff, up embedded systems, um, um, embedded systems, mga programmers. These things that can be done virtually na naman, uh, they would like to go with Philippines. Unfortunately, kirap din sila mag-hire because sa Philippines, wala pang ganun na skill set. That is why I feel like there is really a need for us to develop yung mga kids natin, lagi natin sa curriculum nila yan, para naman may, may paghuhugutan ng mga skills, uh, skilled people uh, after, even before they graduate college nga, baka makakuha na sila ng, ng mga roles, especially if you're, you're good. Ano. So that's something that I want the Philippines to be prepared with. So that is why yung in terms of business strategy namin, doon kami, doon kami nagpo-focus ngayon because wala rin kami makuha na direktang to uh, mag mag to support just like uh, any tech uh, tech companies um i'll just give you a couple of examples and i think i have around in less than 10 minutes to go um stephanie C, we should look up to na early adapters ng technology and they're since everything can be done virtually na naman, so they're managing data for big companies and then um, they're managing data. So, so they, ha they hire mostly uh, mga Filipinos then as well as uh, I don't know how big it is, but you know, you, you utilize yung uh, skill set ng mga Filipinos and we can be really competitive. Alam naman natin yun. Um, globally eh, no? so for meron ako chinek na parang stats before na yung one one full day's work ng minimum wage natin dito compared mo sa silicon valley na minimum wage is already just one uh, is just one hour nila so parang ang daming in terms of economics pwede mong i-outsource talaga lahat sa Pilipinas and then si kahit doblehin mo triplehin mo yung salary ng Pilipino mas mura pa rin siya compared to for to 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 other country. Ang problema lang, of course, we have to enhance yung skills. That is why we really need to focus on yung STEM education. One other uh, things, aladidin of expedoc majority of his staff are working from home and also um, uh, Filipinos. Uh, they're supporting the world uh, systems nila uh, uses abilis yung pag-process ng mga information sa PR, uh, sa systems nila doon and they control robotics as well daw. And actually, to si King Alan Didi was lucky enough to I think if I'm not mistaken, the um, uh, get parang foreign investments of up to around $2 million. So, isang daang million lang uh, was listed uh, on them. And uh, one other example ito is uh, Storage X. So, si Mark is the CEO or of uh, Storage X. Parang digital solution natin, a robotic solution natin sa mga pagpapadeliver. Kasi minsan nasa, for example, nasa online class ka or nasa meeting ka pa, and then nag-deliver na sa condom mo, for example, yung, uh, or, or sub-dorm mo yung, uh, ano ba, food panda, or your 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 grab deliveries, uh, mga ganyan. So, hindi mo matatanggap, di ba? So, sasabihin mo na lang na ilagay niya dito sa storage, X na box na to, and then bibigyan ka ng one-time pin. Papadala ka ng one-time pin. So, every time, no, anytime you're ready na to get it, uh, itatype mo na lang yung one-time pin mo dito. Bubukas na yung uh, locker para sir. So, they're basically just smart lockers. But when they started this one, they, uh, they, they thought they would just wanted to import. Eh, no? Pero tinrayin nila lahat ng mga software or uh, yung mga imported nila ng mga uh, smart locker. Hindi nila nagustuhan dahil pag mabilis masira and then walang support. So, ito is purely Filipino-made storage X um, Pag nasira yan, papalitan ka agad uh, in 24 hours. So, it builds, builds trust and, you know, you we want to support as well yung Filipino innovation. So, yeah, uh, I'm really happy to see uh, 
Filipinos starting to create create things. Um, ano ba? Uh, so there are a lot of um, parang things that you can use to be able to create a vision. So these are some examples. Basic, basic, uh, parang the core it is for you to be able to start the development quickly. And then in terms of you, ganda tingnan, ba? And then also, I'm also an advocate of yung open technology so that, you know, uh, softwares are free. Okay. internet to. Maybe now. Yeah, and so open technology siya. So hopefully, uh, yeah, we can we can use more of these. And we could we could use uh, that our educational um, sectors push for open technology to be taught in as early as Grade four, grade five, na mga uh, students. Um, okay, let me just share with you some examples of uh, uh, some of the students were able to create out of open technology. Uh, hopefully, hindi mas lag, but these are really very good uh, examples. And when I saw this the other day. Really happy and one of the happiest creating stuff already during my time. Kasi, ang nagagawa lang namin ng grade 5 kami, grade 6 were just yung popsicle stick. Ang yung mong dugan, mga gawa ka ng kotse, bahay, mga ganyan. But now, see, technology for the blind nagagawa ng grade 5 student, grade 6 student. Tapos ito, uh, parking assistant, I think it's grade 7 student. Uh, and then, yeah, this one, pollution avoidance, you always see this naman. But, for smart cars, pollution avoidance stuff. Using Arduino. Yeah. I'm not into line tracking, line tracing, sorry. And then this one is pretty cool. You know, uh, smart basurahan. Diba? For elementary students making these oh, uh, mass dispensers. And mobile phone controlled. Nakagawa na ng app yung mga students. Intruder alert. For a grade 6 student. Grade 7. Ganda ng acting itong guy na to. Ito naman is a ba, uh, parang piggy bank. Open and close using yung mobile phone mo. I think grade 8 to grade 9. And then kung nakakalimutan mo mag-feed ng pets mo, uh, there's this pet feeder na kunwari nasa, nasa school ka na or nasa office ka na nakalimutan mag-feed. So you can actually make those. Ano ba to? Uh, so the nature of these things are really fun and I'm sure hindi ma uh, I mean DIY yung dating ba? they're not like yung mga already pre-built na alam mo na yan yung magagawa mo or medyo counting adjustments but this one like diba yung imagination ng mga bata can create I never imagined that they would be able to create this akala ko mga simple things lang but ito yung nagagawa nila eh. pag pinabayahan mo sila and just give them the basics and you know um, the tools uh, that they can use So I, I hope you guys are inspired by by these kids and, and hopefully more schools will follow suit sa mga ganitong classing technology. Uh, we're nakapila na yung mga schools that we need to help. So um, if um, if you guys are into these kinds of things and want to support other other schools, uh, please talk to me. And then we can 
hook each other up and we together we will elevate yung um uh, science and technology na parang strength ng Philippines. If you can see here ang ang logo ko is create what you can imagine. So really I'm when when I do uh, when when I made this business all I want is for for people to create what they can imagine. So I'm urging you guys or you're listening here to create what you can imagine. Um and then back to my last uh, back to my original uh, slide this is my first slide kanina so uh, I, I just wanted to share with you yung story ko nga and then uh, my story is just basically i looked at myself and uh, sorry had uh, parang i reflected on myself and found what i love to do and then i developed myself through the power of fun I developed all the skills needed for me to be good at what I love. And then, easy na lang after that eh. Because if you're really passionate about what you do, then you start getting paid. You get, you can monetize uh, what you like doing. Uh, and then, in turn, what I'm lucky with is that what I love, what what I'm good at, and what I get paid for uh, to do is actually what the world needs especially in the Philippines. So uh, I'm one of the lucky few that has found their ikigai or reason for living. It, it's what keeps me up every... Uh, sorry, <laughs> it, it what's, it's what gets me up in the morning. And I hope from through this talk, you, to, you internalize and hopefully you guys will be able to find your own ikigai. So uh, with that, um we have a few more minutes to maybe entertain some questions and yeah please thank you uh, sir. yeah hi ira go ahead okay thank you very much sir yeah i enjoyed your lecture po, and it is very amazing and i know that everyone learned a lot from your lecture too so Thank now you. for our question and answer, you may send your questions for our viewers. You may send your questions through our Slido link posted in the comment section, or you may also scan the QR code flashed on your screen. So we are going to accommodate three to five questions only. And for the first question, um, sabi po dito, Thank you for the innovative. The, thank you for the informative discussion, sir. When it comes on the training for the microcontroller, specifically for speech-based, any suggestions po or ideas? Um, you can. So the fastest, since everybody has laptops or computers, uh, would be to use your computers to to get the the inputs. Um, you can use um, my favorite is ano, GTTS or Google Text to Speech. So you can just search on how to to use that. Um, and then to be able to control naman yung mga stuff like uh, ano ba? Um, move some servo motors or pandarin yung some uh, electric fan. You can use um, Arduino Uno or ESP32. Arduino Uno kasi is the preferred parang uh, controller for yung mga motors. Eh. So yeah, use Arduino Uno and some relays to be able to do that. So match mo yung computer mo. And, and also, uh, I also like using, ano, for more, kunwari sa kotse, I also like using uh, Raspberry Pis na nakakonect sa internet for you to get yung for it to get yung free to understand what you are saying. So, yeah. Yun yun. Okay, Google. thank you po, sir. Uh, for our next question naman po, how hard po ba yung programming ng Arduino? Especially po, pag robotics or home automation yung desired project. Hmm. Uh, actually, ang... Programming naman is just get what you need. You know? So, if you... May ibang way of learning dati na aralin mo buong libro 
Pagkatapos, tsaka ka mag-start gawa ng mga gusto mong gawin. But that's not how I want to learn. Eh. So, mas mabilis siya aralin kung one step at a time ka and um, aralin mo lang kung ano mo. <laughs> so, in my reference in the net, Uh, and some people that can help you sa so Robotics Club Philippines robotics, or Arduino Philippines uh, for that matter. Nakahirap. You just need to spend a, a day or two siguro going through the basics. Huwag mong titigilan. I hope that answered okay, the question. Po. Yes po. So ito naman po for our third question. Ano po yung advices or tips nyo po sa mga students na nagtitake ng capstone or thesis na napili po nila ang Arduino-based system? Thank you po. And shout out daw po sa BSIT3A. Saan? Nakamute ka na, Ira. Shout out kanina. BSIT3A. Paulit yung last. So, ano yung tip for people that are doing capstone? and thesis po, na napili po nila ang Arduino-based systems. <laughs> Depende sa goal mo yan eh. But, if I were to recommend something sa, sa experience ko rin sa, sa school when doing thesis, eh, yung for, turo ng ano namin yun ng advisor namin, is that what you, wanna, what you wanna do sa school is to make sure that pumasa ka, di ba? Yun yung pinaka-importante doon. So, don't Don't create or don't propose something na sobrang outrageous na it'll take you two years to complete. So, do something that can be done within the span of time that is required. No, Make it a little bit challenging para mas mataas yung grade or ma- makuha mo yung grade. But don't don't make something na sobrang complicated na hindi ka graduate. Yun yung tip ko. Make it simple. And then, On your spare time na, if you want to create something very, very nice, you know, yung walang pressure, di ba? Tapos, pagkatapos mo ng capstone mo, eh, gawin mo na lang sa bahay uh, yung all the rest, di ba? Do it with your uh, with your friends that are interested, like me. I, I do those kinds of things. And then maybe, maybe nakagawa ka ng something that is worthwhile and make may make you a billionaire someday. Wag sa school. <laughs> Aira? Okay po. So for our second to the last question, what's the closest degree for Arduino jobs? Closest degree? Mechatronics, I think there are a lot of um, mechatronics na, na tuturo, ano pa ba? Uh, ma, my course is Manufacturing, Engineering, and Management. So, but It is robotics engineering. Uh, yun, robotics engineering. Uh, ECE. Uh, mechanical. Um, ano ba ba yung mga? Electrical. And all the hybrids na engineering na, na ganyan. Also, maganda rin na ano, yung product development. I think there is a course sa UST. Na I forgot what it is called. So, parang product innovation something. Ganyan. So, so, those things. Um, Arduino, Arduino jobs. You just know. Uh, sorry. One of the things that I, I always say to you, mga people that I mentor, is that don't don't fall in love with just one, one, ano matag dito, one platform. Say Arduino, Arduino lang alam mo. Kasi may insecure ka for others that are creating using other stuff. And you know? so, what you wanna do is, alam mo kung anong strengths. Arduino is very powerful when it comes to controlling. mga objects, controlling mga motors, etc. And then, pat, uh, sabayan mo ng si Jetson Nano for artificial intelligence naman. It's very good for artificial intelligence and it's mobile. Mag-aral ka ng C, mag-aral ka ng Python, aral ka ng Java, yung mga ganun na stuff. Um, para hindi ka ma... Para, para ma-open yung possibilities for you. Kasi... comfort zone mo, madalas isang bagay lang. Kunwari, si lang yung gusto mong gawin. Ayaw mo mag-aral ng iba. There will come a point na uh, yung client mo or, or what you need to do is not available sa sa C. So, 
di ba? Mas magandang marami kang alam. Don't need to be a master of something uh, in, at yun lang yung alam mo. Ayra? Okay po. So for our last question po, sir, um, tumatanggap po ba kayo ng OJTs? And if ever, lang po na may interested na matuto po about Arduino. Yeah. Um, there are, ano lang, periods lang ng when we will we start hiring. Actually, not only sa company ka, I also help uh, like um, aeronautic something of the Philippines. Uh, we were able to get around, I think, seven OJTs for them uh, that are interested in in drones, for example. Drones, right? And then, uh, so Robotics Lab Philippines na uh, Facebook group, we sometimes uh, work with people that are volunteers or uh, who are trainees also. Uh, what we do is, uh, since some people really want to do something but they don't have the financial capability to do so uh, or wala pa, wala, wala pa silang motivation to do things. So, papasahan namin sila ng things to do and together we learn and we help each other. Yung mga ganyan. So, ang recommendation ko is to to join yung Robotics Lab Philippines for uh, potential OJTs and uh, maybe other volunteer works. Okay, so yeah. that's it po for our question and answer. Thank you to everyone who joined us tonight on the first day of Arduino Week Philippines 2022. For the attendance, please answer the evaluation form from the through the link shared in the comment section, or you may scan the QR flashed on your screen. And reminder, we will close the evaluation form one hour after the program ended. And after answering the form, don't leave as we have a mini raffle prepared for those who have answered the form. The attendees have the chance to win a one-month shared premium Grammarly. So we would like to thank our organizers and partners, Academia, Computer Engineering Organization, FEU Institute of Technology, Peons, Math and Robotics, Things PH, Rock Wireless Technology Limited, Signer Flight, Programmers Code, Spo Code Posting, Department of Science and Technology, Metals, Industry, Research and Development Cer Center. So before we announce the winner for our raffle draw, we would like to remind everyone that only those who attended at least one webinar per day from March 21 until 26 will receive the official certificate from Arduino. However, you may get your certi certificate per webinar through upcademia.online. You may also email Arduino Day at upcademia.online for instructions. Bye, guys.
Okay, here are the winners for our raffle draw. Um, Mark Bernard M. Baru, Baru, Baruian, J.R. M. Balon, and Almar L. Herrera. So once again, congratulations to Mark Bernard M. Baruian, J.R. M. Balon, and Almar L. Herrera. To claim your prize, please message Mikaela Zara. So thank you once again for joining the first day of Arduino Week Philippines 2022. See you tomorrow. And also thank you very much to Mr. Yap for sharing your time and knowledge with us. So guys, press 1 if marami kayong natutunan. And let us also press Y to show our appreciation to Mr. Yap. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Poser. Thank you, guys.